duct tape. The brakes have been giving me trouble and I think it's all coming back to this buzzer here. The problem is, is that uh, when the brakes leak down, the thing makes all kinds of racket and it bugs the heck out of me. And so I think I finally figured out how to fix that. Ah, there we go. That should solve the problem. Okay, so yeah, I think this is probably the culprit here for my leaking air system. Uh, this is a brake relay, air brake relay valve. And so what it does is takes a uh, fast response, uh, low volume circuit, uh, air circuit from the foot pedal control valve the uh, brake foot pedal control valve, and it uh, relays that through this valve, uh, much like an electrical relay, it's, uh, you know, low volume, uh, to control a high volume, fast response uh, circuit from a, a uh, auxiliary or a large capacity air tank uh, that then actuates the wheel brakes themselves. And so uh, in order to do that, it basically functions similarly to a regulator in that it takes uh, proportionate air, air pressure and uh, controls a piston or a diaphragm to allow air movement through this valve to the wheel cylinders and any excess air from releasing the brakes ends up getting dumped out through this. But what ends up happening is when you're holding down the brakes at a uh, partial depression, if you hold down the brakes part way, um, it just continually bleeds off air. And so I think there's probably a O-ring or something like that that's uh, failed in there. So we're going to pull this guy off and I've got a, a reseal kit for it. It looks like it should be fairly simple. Um, hopefully my description, I'm not an air brake guy, but uh, you know, I watched a bunch of videos on how these works on these work online and hopefully my description wasn't too uh, confusing. Um, doing my best. All right, so here's the valve out of the truck, and I've got this rebuild kit here for it. You can see the part number there, and it looks like it has all the seals and springs uh, necessary to put this thing back together. So we're going to give it a go. I've not uh, torn into one of these before yet, but it looks pretty simple. So um, hopefully that'll solve the problem.
Got some rubber chunks there. That's probably part of it. Not sure what these are from. Oh, sweet. It came with grease. Okay, I was wondering about that. I thought maybe I'd have to leave leave the grease that was in there in there just and not clean it because I didn't have that. It's probably silicon grease. Okay, sweet. Repair instructions. go through this.
I think this is some kind of silicon grease. The manual says to uh, torque this to 45 inch-pounds, so I'm using my precision inch-pound measurement tool here, especially considering these are uh, brakes. You want to make sure that uh, everything is absolutely done by the book. I'll probably catch a lot of flack for that. That's all right.
it's funny, it's kind of a nice byproduct of shooting videos of everything that uh, you happen to have a video record of the way that things came apart. Uh, I had kind of forgotten already how this, uh, what order these parts went back in in. All right. You can hear the crows in the background. Well, ravens, really. Uh, we had a big fire come through here a few months ago, and they've been hanging out ever since. Kind of odd, but they're eating all the rubber off of the vehicles. And at first it drove me nuts, and now I've just kind of accepted it. Um, but, you know, these aren't old vehicles. They're like nice newer truck, uh, F-350, F-150, and a little Subaru and they're taking off all the weather stripping around the uh, windows. I guess that's kind of normal for Ravens from what I, I hear. Okay, there, I think I got it. Hopefully that's right.
these are self-tapping screws and so I'm trying to get them in the original uh, thread position uh, so they don't cut new threads. It's kind of tricky sometimes. Okay, so that should be it. We'll get this thing back in the truck. So dang, looks like I put the cap back on backwards. That's why the manual said to mark it ahead of time. Uh, okay, well, I'll pull it back off. Okay, so that's it. So hopefully that was the issue. Uh, when I was holding down the brakes originally, it would actually dump uh, air, leak out this valve. Now there was some chunks of rubber in there. And so it could have been that that was causing the issue. Although none of the seals that were in this particular relay valve uh, had been degraded to that point. So I don't know where those chunks came from. There is a second relay valve up above it on these trucks. And if you see, you can see the other one. It looks pretty much the same. Um, it is possible that was causing a problem. Although looking at that previously while holding the brakes, it wasn't leaking from there. So, um, so we'll see if that was the issue. Cleaning out the chunks would definitely solve a problem of the uh, valve assemblies being able to seat properly, but where the chunks came from, I'm not really sure. So we'll have to figure that out, but hopefully that solves the problem. Well, the brakes are pumped up, so front and back there. Uh, I'll have to take it out for a spin and see if uh, that did the trick. Uh, and if it did, then great. Uh, you know, while the truck is warming up, the screamer's normally going. What do you guys out there do? Do you disable them? I mean, does that make sense? Just put a cover on them to quiet them down? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Well, that's a son of a gun. It looks like I'm still getting leakage. Okay, well, it looks like uh, that wasn't the problem. The uh, brake relay valve uh, turned out that uh, it was fine. Although I think it was leaking at one point, uh, but it was due to chunks being in the, uh, in the valve seat assembly there. So uh, we're underneath the bed of the... the uh, truck here actually let me jump back out so you can see what we're dealing with here so this is pretty much the same as any other lmtv although this is a five ton you know being a dump truck um, but the part numbers for the valves and all that are the same for the air brakes so let's see okay getting underneath here the valve that we rebuilt was 
this guy down here, and that was just the brake relay valve. There's actually this other one here called the tractor protection valve that through a little bit of uh, troubleshooting with uh, one of my boys, I found that it actually leaks anytime you're holding the uh, brakes down it leaks from this vent uh, tube here on top. And taking a quick look on steel soldiers, it looks like the diaphragms in these valves are uh, commonly go bad. They're cheap, like 30 bucks from Napa. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get one of those and uh, we'll get this fixed up, but that's gonna be another video. So uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.